Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and over. This strain of smoking is just making me really smiley. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Thank you for coming to part two of Cannabis and Creativity, How to Cure the, uh, the Winter Blues with Art. And what better way than to do that? Um, I know I have a lot of art videos on this channel because I feel like cannabis really helps you <clears throat> heal yourself and to heal really traumatic events that may have happened in your life in the past. And so does art. So cannabis and art work wonderfully together. Um, from my experience and from many other people's experiences who are cannabis partakers, who partake of cannabis on a regular basis, um, <clears throat> I am curious to see how many people partake of cannabis on a regular basis for whatever condition they've been, you know, diagnosed with or just know that they have and, um, and actually partake in cannabis and do art as well. I'm just curious who out there is doing this too, you know? One step at a time, you know? <clears throat> one breath at a time, one exhale at a time. <laughs> I start to realize um, what I need to do to help heal myself. And I think that's the thing is, is we're not giving ourselves any time. And sometimes we just don't feel like we're worthy of the time to uh, heal ourselves. Um, I've never taken any courses on how to become an art therapist or anything like that. When I was last in college, it was community college I went to, <coughs> um, I, I was kind of trying to figure out what I wanted to do and I decided I wanted to be a um, art therapist at the towards the end. But then I couldn't go to school and work at the same time. So I had to work full time to support myself and also go to school full time. And that was just too much for me to handle. So I'm over here <laughs> sewing and stuff. But yeah, I I think art is great during this time period. Time period. Yeah, during this time period and during this time of the year, it's awesome for people. It's healing for people. It helps them to get through so much crazy ass shit that we have to go through day in and day out. It's unbelievable. So I'll show you what I'm smoking on right now. <clears throat> smoking on it. It's an indica strain and it's, they say it's called, it's indica special. It's through the medical cannabis dispensary delivery service that I get it from. <clears throat> they'll have a special and they won't tell you what strain because they'll just put a bunch of different strains in there. But it's indica special is what it's called. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, I've been smoking on that, and it's really very uplifting, yet relaxing at the same time. So, and I'm drinking some tea. <laughs> I'm drinking some. Uh, it's some Lipton tea that I got. Passion fruit, orange passion fruit, uh, jasmine. So it's a nice blend. I'm putting me in the mood to. Um, talk more about cannabis and creativity and <clears throat> how cannabis plays a huge part in uh, the creative process for me. I was a creative person before I smoked cannabis and and what cannabis does is it enhances the creativity that I already have within is what it does <clears throat> and anybody who's an artist knows what I'm talking about. I'm a very visual person and tactile person. I like to work with my hands. Um, that's why creating art is a perfect thing for me to do. Excuse me. When I work, used to work outside the home, most of the jobs that I would get would be like <clears throat> either cashiering or, uh, or stocking shelves and stuff, you know. Oh, that's my husband. He's pumping up his tires because he's got to go and 
Our van is stranded. I mean, he got stranded and the van is out. So he's got to go and right up there and try to fix it. Uh, so put some positive vibes out there for him to be safe. And it's, it's been some challenging days. Um, you can check that out. I talk more about that on the video that I loaded yesterday. So <clears throat> I believe, yeah. So anyway, yeah, let's get to smoking some of this herb. I hope you have something to smoke today as well, and I hope you enjoy part two. So cheers, everyone. almost there. Oh, okay. One more and then I think I'll really be there. <laughs> it's been one hell of a month, just letting you know that. And I know you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> For yourself, I know people are going through some shit right now. And that's why I keep doing these videos, promoting people, not promoting people encouraging people to express themselves with art even if you think you're not an artist it doesn't matter make a fucking stick figure and express how you're feeling with that but <clears throat> continue to create you see some of the cave drawings i'm not saying i'm those that's my ancestors the cave drawing people but <laughs> just look at that as an example, these people putting forth all these ideas and shit onto caves, cave drawings. Um, we were always explaining ourselves, we were trying to explain ourselves <clears throat> and express ourselves through visuals. So um, don't be afraid to express yourself. You know, just don't. Just express it. And art is the best way because it's an individual thing, it's a personal thing, it's you and whatever it is you're creating. So don't be afraid, just dive right in and know that you'll get to the bottom of a lot of things with art. No, I'm not a ther art therapist, certified art therapist. I did, like I said in the last, at the end of part one, of this two part show, I <clears throat> did say that when I was going to community college towards the end, I decided, oh, I think I'll train to become a art therapist. But then I ended up getting overwhelmed by working a full-time job and going to school full-time. That was just too fucking much. So I ended up just working full-time and doing art in my spare time. Um, at the time it was fine because, uh, I don't know. I just kind of felt like, well, if I did go back, you know, I'd have to have a way to where I could only work part-time at least so I'm not overly worked and that I can totally fully concentrate on my studies. But <clears throat> so I just decided, you know, I'm just going to check the school and just continue to create art. And so I did. And what ended up happening is I ended up, um, you know, talking to people I knew word of mouth and then uh, I met this woman who said she was interested in my artwork and you know it's the kind of thing is when you get around and you talk to other people you kind of realize that a lot of people have more in common with you than you realize so um, that's what happens when you express yourself through art and just let it out and not feel self-conscious about being judged. The only person that's judging you is you, really. And then if you do get people saying shit things about your art, you just kind of say, whatever, who cares? Who are you? Look at that person and see what they're doing. Are they doing anything productive with their life besides tearing you down? Who gives a shit? So get on with exploring the uh, art of creating from your own energy, from your own imagination. 
you know, we're creating our world as we speak by the thoughts that we have in our mind. So <clears throat> create that world through art, you know, like express yourself and heal yourself. That's what I was talking about. Seasonal depression is a real thing during this time of the season. And that's why I wanted to do a part two because <clears throat> a lot of people will just get prescribed certain uh, prescripts and stuff. I'm not saying not to take your prescripts uh, that your doctor gave you. I'm just saying that there's ways to, um, to get you out of a funk other than that too. There's also... Um, sitting down and, and, and exploring why you're feeling the way that you are and not being afraid to feel those feelings in, in a safe place <clears throat> where you know you feel like you're loved and you're uh, you're secure you know so and um, for me it was like I would go off somewhere in a room a quiet room and just start to draw whatever that's what I used to do as a child I remember just drawing a lot and as I got older <laughs> I noticed how it was a really good coping mechanism and also a good way of understanding what's going on with me in my mind through drawing and I start drawing out things that are in my mind <clears throat> and then I realize oh okay I need to pay attention to that aspect of my life so Oh, that's delicious. Delicious. <clears throat> I'm going to have some more tea. And I'll show you some of the stuff that I'm creating. And why, you know, as I'm making it, sometimes the why of it doesn't come. But after I finish the piece or during the middle of making it, I start to see what it is and why I'm creating it. <clears throat> my my the art that I make is varied in in uh, different expressions on each doll that I make. No two dolls look the same because um, each doll I feel like is an individual expression of whatever it is that was coming out of me at that time that I was creating that doll. So there's some people that just use molds so they have the same doll every time or whatever have same pattern every time. <clears throat> I particularly uh, enjoy the process of having an, in each individual doll look like a totally different person and a totally different vibe and energy. Um, even when I do the repainted dolls and I get two repaint, two dolls, like a repainted doll is a doll. Let me show you. Let me grab it. I'll be right back. I'll show you what the repainted doll is. And it's also dolls that are on my Etsy shop right now too. So. All right, I'm back. So here's an example of the repainted dolls I'm talking about. <clears throat> they can both have the same type of, uh, before I start this doll, it looks totally different because this right here is a porcelain doll. And this right here is a por porcelain doll as well. They started off as kind of looking like a similar type of doll, but what I ended up doing is painting them in such a way where they're definitely two different styles of doll, two different, uh, Energies. Energy is kind of similar, but not just because of the colors, I would say. Um, yeah, and these two dolls are also available on my Etsy shop. These are <clears throat> spiritual art dolls, repainted art dolls. So porcelain, sometimes I use porcelain, sometimes I use plastic dolls. Depends on which ones I have available. And these actually were given to me, sent to me by a friend who knows that I like to do repainted dolls. And what happens is a lot of dolls will get neglected in thrift stores or whatever, and they just sit there for ages, and they'll probably end up on a landfill, creating more pollution. So <clears throat> better to take what people think is trash and make it into art. So these, are, these two are definitely available on my Etsy shop. And, um, Decent price, free shipping on these two also. I'm not selling them together, I'm selling them separately, but yeah, free shipping on it, and it's a ridiculously killer deal on the price of these, and it would make a great 
it would make a great gift. <laughs> what do you say? No. So anyway, that's what I meant by the <clears throat> repainted dolls. Like my dolls, no one doll will look the same. Even though they're they started off as being the same type of doll. <clears throat> and um, when I was a kid, I you know I liked dolls, but I wasn't one of those kids that liked to like play around with them and swing them around. I liked to experiment with their clothing, you know, making clothing for them, creating different hairstyles, you know, express, giving them some sort of expression or whatever. But um, as I got older, I just stopped, you know, doing anything with them. Because actually what I was doing was creating art with the doll. I wasn't just merely playing with it. Because I didn't see the doll as some imaginary friend or anything like that. I just saw it as, you know, representation of the human form that I could, you know, do creative things with. So here's another example of that. <clears throat> another repainted, another repainted doll that I have on my Etsy shop. And it's on a block that can be um, hung up onto your wall. And it's an altarpiece. So, um. But yeah, this looks nothing like the other ones, and it's like, I like each doll to have its own energy, you know, its own um, purpose, its own, uh, yeah, its own qualities to it, and not just a bunch of factory-made dolls, so. But that's another one, and you can check all those out on my Etsy shop. So yeah, those are two, those are three of the things of the many things that um, I have available there. So, yep. Let's take another hit of this deliciousness. Okay, that's good. I think I'm going to light up a joint. And the joint that I'm going to light up is from the a sugar shack. Uh, <clears throat> I mean sugar shake. <laughs> sugar shake that I've been uh, using to roll joints with. And I ran out of joint papers and I'm going to have to buy more joint papers too. So. Please, please guys support my channel. Donate money for my joint papers. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Where did I put that canister? There's a, oh, here it is. I use this canister. It's just a, a mint tin that I use for my uh, to put my joints in because it's see how far down it goes. It's pretty nice for that. It's got a little skinny joint here. It'll do the trick. Um, I'm going to find my lighter, which is right here. Alrighty, guys. Cheers and thanks for joining me today. Um, I don't know if there's anything. It might be a few more things I want to show you. And if there's anything that you see that I show you that I say is for sale on my Etsy shop, I'm saying this for right now. It may change, but after the holidays, but give me a heads up. Um, if you want to buy it outside of the Etsy shop, if you want to bargain with me on the price of some things on my shop and to buy it outside of Etsy shop, just straight through me, let me know. You could contact me at my email address, which is blacknails31 at yahoo.com. So... Feel free, don't fe be shy about it. Just because it's on my Etsy shop doesn't mean that I can't take it off and reserve it for you. But you gotta buy it right away. And, and I don't wanna like have a layaway plan or anything like that. I just want to um, give people the opportunity to buy my art, especially during this holiday season, because I know things are tight. So if you see something that you like on my Etsy shop and you wanna buy it outside of Etsy, <clears throat> let me know uh, if you want to buy it but it's too expensive and you want to bargain you know you want to negotiate the prices and everything like that let me know so um, I'm open to it I'm not gonna you know just give it away but I'm op open to it so just email me if you see something on my shop that you're interested in uh, give me a holler <laughs> because I I definitely do need to move a lot of stuff a lot of art out of my home because I 
don't want to travel with a lot of stuff the next move so that's what I'm trying to do so thanks for helping me out all of you that have um, gone and purchased things from my shop and who have participated in the giveaways that really helps as well and I might do a giveaway uh, soon I don't know how soon but I might do a giveaway soon I'll tell you it probably won't yeah I'll tell you soon I do still want to do a giveaway on my other channel too my uh, Dark Moon Doll channel because in all the years that I've had that channel I haven't even done a giveaway on there so. alrighty guys cheers to creativity and cannabis and to kick in those winter blues you know That's nice. <laughs> Alright, let me show you something. Let me show you something. <laughs> so, um, I believe I did show you guys all of this stuff. <coughs> These things. <coughs> recently. They have on my shop. It's the three eyed triclops. Like Kali. The goddess Kali. That's what this was inspired by. After I, As I was working on it, I didn't know what the hell I was making. I really didn't. Because a lot of the art that I do is what's called stream of consciousness art, where you're not don't have a plan, you're just going with the flow of what images and colors and materials you're guided to use. So that's what ends up happening when I create these pieces of artwork, unless someone specifically commissions me to do a piece and tells me specifics. Even then, it's it's it feels like it's channeled through my ancestors, which are within me, that gives me. Um, just reinforces the ideas and thoughts and feelings that I have within that creation and how it should be, how it should manifest to be, to, you know, be the symbol. And after I finished this, I was like, I thought Kali. It just totally reminded me of Kali. So this is hand sewn, hand embroidered. Um, yeah. And there's yarn. She has yarn for her hair, but yeah, that's what it reminds me of Kali, the goddess Kali. So she's on. I'm selling her outside of Etsy, so uh, check out my listings and everything. The all of my keychains I've been selling for a ridiculously unbelievable price, of three bucks each, and six dollars shipping. You get a free gift with it too, because I'm really trying to give give things away so that I can lower my um, inventory so please be aware of that and go check out my Etsy shop at www.darkmoondoll.etsy.com you can also check out my Facebook and my Instagram <clears throat> Instagram under the name Dark Moon Doll. so I'll try to get all those links in the description below and both parts of this two-part um, show for today that's one of the many keychains that are on my shop right now I'm not on my shop but that are available outside of my shop because I can't post things on to my uh, Etsy shop right now because my laptop is filled the memory there's no free space really so here's another keychain it's winter solstice kind of uh, medicine lady kind of day of the dead kind of vibe my son said it reminds him of uh, the grim adventures of uh, Billy and Mandy so this one's also the same price and you can contact me at blacknails31 at yahoo.com for this piece because um, like I said I can't right now I can't post anything on my Etsy shop so I'm just selling it outright through my email you can even um, I don't know I just don't want you guys getting into putting information in the comment section like that hey just send it to this address I mean you c or whatever just email me that's the best way to do that <laughs> and then I have this ornament Christmas ornament for sale that I made it's hand embroidered um, hand sewn it's little snowman I use recycled fabrics and yarn um, pretty cool and there's a little uh, handle right there or loop right there 
where you can attach it to your tree, to your uh, your holiday tree. So it's fun. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Expressing yourself is fun, and that's mainly why I show you all these creations that I make. <clears throat> yeah, sure you can buy them, and you can also create one yourself if you like. So this is one of the newer ones that I'm going to uh, be finishing and making available. I don't know if you can really see it well, but I was really happy with how that turned out. It's an African African shaman. It's a shamaness. So African shamans, female shamans, can be given the title shamaness. So I have better photos of her, <clears throat> and I'll um, I'll show you more detail on it through my Etsy, oh, no, not through my Etsy, through my, um, through my Twitter, through, um, Facebook, and through, uh, Instagram as well, so, <clears throat> so, yeah, magical, uh, winter solstice shaman, shamaness, African shamaness, so, yeah, I have a lot of fun making these, obviously, <laughs> and the keychains, you can actually hang them onto a tree if you wanted to, so. You don't always, you don't always have to use it as a keychain. <clears throat> so yeah, that's what I got going on. I got a few more things. I guess I could show you guys again. I'll be right back. Let me grab that bag of goodies. All right, I'm back with more than one bag of goodies. <laughs> um, let me blow. Let me blow some smoke at you. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for joining me for this two-part show really means a lot to me when you guys take the time out of your busy schedules, especially during the holidays, and just chill and look at some art and uh, maybe get inspired to make your own art. Maybe create some presents that are homemade this season. And I have a lot of videos that can inspire that, inspire, inspire you to do that. I have been wanting to do a tutorial on how to make, how I make greeting cards. So, uh, homemade greeting cards so it would be something fun maybe I could do that uh, sooner rather than later because I probably want to be getting those greeting cards out like right away <laughs> you know because it's coming soon you know I'm really into winter solstice though to tell you the truth so I love it the energy is just uh, very magical and very powerful so. And there's lots of lawn, lawn uh, razzmatazz outside right now. Oh, this is really good. All right, guys. Let's see these goodies here, what I got. Um, someone was asking me about handbags. Okay, I, the handbags take a long time to make. So I, I'm sorry if they're not, I'm not cracking them out one by one real quick. Like the um, like the fabric dolls. I mean, those little miniature fabric dolls. Those take less time. <laughs> and um, I started also started making those little the little small dolls because my bigger dolls. Um, not everybody could afford to buy a big doll, so I thought I'm oh I'll just make miniature of what I uh, of the bigger dolls. So that's why I started doing those, and it was actually a practice in patience and um, knowing how to work on a small surface and I love that it's it's a fun challenge at first it was too much of a challenge for me but I felt like I could do it and through the magic of cannabis and creativity I felt like there's no stopping me you know I mean I I feel like I challenge myself every day with the type of art that I make so anyway so I still have this uh, handbag this uh, Conjoined twin fabric art doll handbag, paper beaded. So there's a conjoined twin in the middle here. I've, I was trying to have, ended well not trying, ended up having to me like a tribal feel to it, and with the uh, kind of silvery uh, dust that I put on top of it, I was trying to make it look like it's a artifact type of thing, like it was found. <clears throat> the other side, very colorful. Lots of beads, there's paper beads all over it. Um, it's still available in my Etsy shop. 
I am willing to uh, make a deal if you want it to. If it, if it's, uh, you can't afford the, the price it is at now, I am open for you know you messaging me and saying so. Check it out on Etsy. It's at www.darkmundal.etsy.com. Or if you just see it here, you can email me at blacknails31 at yahoo.com and say, hey, <clears throat> I'd like to buy that, but can I get it for this price instead? So I'm pretty flexible, but I'm not going to give it away. <laughs> so uh, give me a heads up if you're interested. It's It has a zipper on it as well. So let's unzip this. I like to try to attach uh, zippers to my handbags if I have zippers available. And that, and everything that I use just about to make these handbags is recycled fabrics and recycled materials, including zippers. A lot of times <clears throat> um, I'll be given a garment, and I don't really like the garment, but I like the fact that it has a zipper. <laughs> so I'll just take the zipper off of it. And with the rest of the fabric from that garment, what do I do? I probably will make beads out of so fabric beads. So this is the inside of it. It looks like on the inside it has pockets on the inside. Um, we could probably make a good stash bag because it's very well. It's pretty hard because it's pretty solid because of the uh, paper beads and all the coatings that I put on it. So it's a pretty solid bag. So you could carry your your glass pieces in here. A very fancy like uh, glass piece um, bag so you could it's like could be your medicine bag and um, I have my signature hand embroidered on here and I have on the inside here and I have the prosperity symbol not prosperity infinity symbol there so and Prosperity symbols are right here. Let's see, can you see it? Probably barely see it. But anyway, you can get a better picture of what this looks like if you go to my um, you go to my Etsy shop, and you can go to my Instagram and check it out too. So people seem to like the handbags, and I understand why, because it's nice to have a good handbag where you can put hold things in when you're out and about. So, yep. And it zips up and it's good to go so yeah that's still available so if you're interested let me know either by going to my Etsy shop and just buying it or you can go to my Etsy shop and you think that uh, I'll scratch my head too hard ouch do you ever do that or you could go to your et my Etsy shop and say is there any ways that I can get you to lower the price during the holiday season I'm a lot more flexible with the prices of my art so please just take advantage of that, you know, and go for it because I am trying to lower inventory. Please help me. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Please help me. I'm trying to save up enough money to move out of here, you know, and into me and my family to move into an area or a home that it's going to make more sense for us, let's put it that way. So. Okay, I'll show you a few more things and I'm going to head on out of here um, and get to finishing up some more stuff <laughs> to put up. So, God, my leg is really bothering me. <sighs> oh, let me stretch it out. All right, yeah. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for taking the time out of your busy schedules. Like I said before, it's, it's really important to do. You know, there's no... I mean, there's ways around it, just don't do it, but <laughs> eventually you're going to have to, you know, spend time with yourself. You can't just spend time just working, 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 and then being around people all the time and then crashing and falling asleep. It's just going to do you in, so I hope that you guys find that being creative is truly therapeutic for you. Because it is for me, and partaking in Canvas while I'm creating really helps me to stay focused and to stay motivated and to stay stay positive about myself, about the aspects of myself that, um, that I know get better and better through time, through each experience I have on this planet, you know? 
That's like with everybody, not just me, so. Alright. Speaking of another planet, on this planet, <laughs> for some reason, let me show you this one. And I've showed you this one already, I believe, on this channel, but I want to show you again. It's one of the many keychain dolls that I have. But this, it reminds me of someone from another planet. And my son was saying it looks like those, I think you level up Mario or other things. But anyway, it's like an African being from Sirius B. From another planet. Bringing down psychedelic mushrooms. So yeah. I thought about, like I was telling you guys that I'm making, you know, stories to go with the dolls. Why not with the, uh, and I thought, well, why not with the little tiny dolls? I don't know. You guys can give me your, your ideas, your input on that. What do you think? What do you think? Uh, yeah, I got a lot of, a lot of cool things. Please go on up there to my shop. Check it out. And check out my other places that I put my art up at. So... Here's one of the other ones that I've been working on to finishing is this one here. This is, see, I mean, that's what I'm talking about. If you, your art can be that that uh, simplistic. It seems simplistic, but this is not easy to make. But, and then here's the other side of it. It's just expression is what it is. Um, I didn't really enjoy Christmas time when I was a kid because I knew I wasn't going to get any gifts. I mean, at some point, I mean, there was one Christmas I can remember where I got, you know, the best, it was like the best Christmas ever because I got these two dolls that I really liked. <clears throat> and then after that, it just, Christmas just seemed like bullshit, you know? And I started getting toys that didn't have, like, light brights without all the lights and the lights that I had aren't working and all kinds of fucked up shit I was getting for Christmas after that. One special Christmas. <laughs> and, um... It made me feel really jaded about Christmas. And when one Christmas, all I got was a pin on a string. So, <laughs> um, and it wasn't even really that good of a pin. So anyway, it, I kind of grew, uh, as I grew older, I started getting a very big cynicism towards this holiday, Christmas. Cause it started just feeling like uh, just a money grab, you know, or either it just felt like, um, I just, I gotta keep holding on to you, so I'm gonna buy you this awesome gift, you know, or whatever. It just seemed like more so gifts were being bought out of obligation and not being bought from the kindness of your heart. So if you give gift to this year, give from the kindness of your heart, not because you feel obligated to give to somebody. So that's what I recommend. But this is really fun. It takes me out of the seriousness of some of the projects that I'm working on. And... <laughs> This makes me laugh, like cartoony stuff. So that's what I've been working on. And I also did show you that other one that was really cartoony, like, I don't know where she's gone, but that's the thing is it keeps me, it keeps me young in, at heart when you continue to create art. You see the world through the eyes of your inner child, the eyes of, you know, that, pure innocent you and it's fun <laughs> straight up is just fun it's fun creating art especially when you're highly elevated it's even more fun so thanks for joining me for this two-part video thank for thank you for subscribing to my channel think this is really strong thank you for the likes and shares and thank you for your kind comments leave your comments down below and let me know what you're creating if you're creating anything during this holiday season it can help keep the blues away <clears throat> if you just express yourself i mean i mean look funny this <laughs> i just think it's funny you know have fun with it you know be creative i mean this one's a little bit more serious but it's still funny nonetheless um yep <laughs> oh my god this is so good too we're already, we're already at almost 40 minutes. The time goes by. 
but I, I like to make the best of the time that I have to spend with you guys to share creative things with you. I wanted to show you that one that's still available because someone asked about it. And indeed it is still available. It's the Serpent in the Rainbow keychain. It's still available, okay? All keychains are the same price. $3 each with $6 shipping and you get a free handmade gift. So yeah, the Serpent in the Rainbow is still available. It's hand sewn, hand embroidered by my hands. And yeah, definitely still available. So if you want to get it, get it. Um, yeah. I decided that if none of these, the rest of the keychains that I made are sold, I might just put them up to a giveaway. So we'll see what happens once the um, once it expires on the uh, listings on Etsy. We'll see what happens. So, yep. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for, like I said already, <laughs> subscribing and all that. Um, <clears throat> definitely feel free to check out my bitch shoe channel, my Black Junction TV channel, because YouTube took my this channel, the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, off the air for three months and then brought me back. So if that happens again, you'll know where to find me, and you can subscribe there. So yeah, see you guys soon. Check out my Etsy. It's www.darkmoondoll.etsy.com. And you'll see all of what I was talking about on this two-part show about the deals and the discounts you'll get. Some of the items have free shipping, so check it out during this holiday season. I'm trying to help you out. Um, and you get a free handmade gift with every purchase, so check it out. Alrighty, guys. Brightest blessings to y'all, and I'll see you soon.